What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. And I'm here on this edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up to talk the top three landing spots for the wide receiver, Jarvis Landry. This guy's going to be 30 years old this year, but he still has a little bit of juice left in the tank. And we'll see if one of these three landing spots can, can bring that juice out of him. We'll start it off in the AFC. We're going to talk about the Baltimore Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens have been tied to Jarvis Landry the past couple of days. And when so many entities and there's so much traction around the landing spot. Uh, we we got to definitely think that it has legs to it and, and, and a little bit of merit. They've traded Marquise Brown to the Arizona Cardinals. They could use some wide receiver help as you're looking at, you know, Rashad Bateman and uh, Devin DuVernay, a lot of young guys at, at the position, granted that they do have Mark Andrews at the tight end position, but Jarvis Landry helps to get a veteran presence there for these young guys at the wide receiver position. And just the scheme fit makes a ton of sense when you're talking about one of the best run blocking wide receivers in the NFL today. Um, if he can stay on the field, I think that they make him a favorable offer, try to bring him in as they compete for an AFC title. Another team that I think could bring Jarvis Landry in to help them compete for an AFC title is the Indianapolis Colts, who are pretty much set at every position, granted that you believe that Matt Ryan can help them you know, get over the hump. They were competing with Carson Wentz last year, but this defense is just so stout. If they can get some wide receiver help with Michael Pittman there, um, I think that they you know, are in a prime spot to at least compete for the division in the AFC South. You're looking at this wide receiver group outside of Michael Pittman. They've combined for just under uh, just under. 90 receptions, just over 1,100 yards and 10 touchdowns. I mean, Jarvis Landry coming into the mix, if he's healthy, he can do that pretty much on his own. So I definitely think that they could use a veteran presence like Jarvis Landry. And again, with Tennessee uh, moving on from A.J. Brown, trading him you know, to the NFC, I do think that the AFC South is, is wide open and they definitely want to make a splash play to help them compete. Lastly, we'll move over to an NFC team. And if we can, you know, chime, if we can get a direct line to Mickey Loomis, let's bring the boy home to Louisiana. This is Jarvis Landry, who played at LSU, is from is from Louisiana. His hometown is there. So in Tyron Matthew, the honey badger, he just went there too. I mean, a lot of writing on the wall there to get him into New Orleans to, to help them compete. I think he is an immense help for, for Jameis Winston, who is going to have the rookie Chris Olavi come in to help and hopefully get Michael Thomas back healthy. But then after that, you're looking at Marquez Calloway. You're looking at Deontay Harris. You're looking at Trey Quan Smith. I mean, Jarvis Landry would definitely find a way to get on the field and be able to help these guys. So Mickey Loomis, if you're listening, let's bring the boy home to, to Louisiana if we can. And I think Jarvis Landry would definitely want to be able to be there and be a New Orleans Saint. Guys, that's going to do it for the FanDuel. Hurry up if you guys haven't already done so. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the, hit the thumbs up on this video. We appreciate that traction. I'll catch you guys next time on the FanDuel. Hurry up. Until then, peace. Bye.